This is absolutely one of the easiest side hustles that you could do. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make low content books and sell them on Amazon. Now, these can be made in around 10 minutes and absolutely anyone can do this. You don't have to be an author, a designer. You don't have to have a lot of skills because we are not going to be writing things for the inside of our book. Now, this video has been so highly requested because I've talked about how I actually take all of the designs that I have already made for my print on demand business. So for example, a t-shirt design or a mug design, and then I simply use an easy tool to actually switch those over into book covers. Basically you're getting double the results for all the effort that you put into making your initial print on demand design. But you also can just publish low content books on Amazon, even if you don't have another print on demand business. So it's truly a really easy business that anyone can start at any time. And the amazing news is there is no application to join the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. You could literally sign up today and be selling your first book within the hour. So I'm gonna show you the complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to go about researching and finding the books that will sell well, creating your cover and inside pages, and uploading them to actually make sales on Amazon. Like I said, the process is super easy, but it can be super profitable. Now, what exactly is a low cost? Content book. Traditionally, when we think of authorship or books, we are thinking about something that someone is spending a lot of time writing out chapters and a lot of material on the inside. However, with a low content book, this is either going to be one of a couple things. So you can just have a low content book with regular lined or blank pages, or you can make them a little bit more intricate with things like puzzles, games, logs, trackers. So there is a lot of ways to take this. Now, making your pages a little bit more complicated on the inside is super simple to do too with the tool I'm going to show you how to use because they already have all of that stuff available for you to use without having to make anything from scratch. So this is kind of an example of a low content book. This is just a writing prompt book. And on the inside, you can see that there are some mostly blank parts, but there are some different prompts here. So this is what I would call a low content book. So we are gonna be creating something like this today. So for this video, I have partnered with BookBolt, who is a program that has everything you need to not only create your books, but actually research them and get all those materials for the inside. So it really is the one tool that you're going to need for selling on Amazon. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to go from start to finish here on BookBolt. So let's head over there right now. All right, so when you log into BookBolt, the first thing you are going to be taken to is going to just be this page with tutorials. So they are going to walk you through every single step of the process in a ton of detail. I'm giving you an overview here today, but if there's anything that you want even more specifics on, you can watch any of their tutorial videos there. Now, one of the first things that I like to do when actually thinking about creating a book from scratch is I'm gonna do some research. So I'm gonna go over here to products and I'm going to think about kind of the general category that I want to create something in. Now I have a ton of shirt designs that I've kind of made in that reading book lover niche and since I know that reading logs are doing really well I think that I am going to repurpose some of that artwork that I already have for reading shirts and turn those into journals. So first I want to get a good idea of how reading journals or reading logs are selling on Amazon. So I am going to look up reading journals here. Now it's going to bring up some of the top sellers here so we can get a good idea of how some of these are selling. Right away it's going to give us some useful information so we can see the lowest price some of these are listed at as well as the highest price and the average price. So typically the average is what I'm going to be thinking about when I'm listing my items. So with the average price being $7.82 I would either list this item maybe at $6.99 or $7.99. Now over here we can see some of the top selling books in this category that are ranking for the keywords reading a journal. Now for these for this first one, we can see that it has a price of just $3.58, so it is on the lower side, and it's getting 201 estimated sales per month. So just from this one book, they are making $700 every single month, and they could have a ton of other books that are also selling. Now, this reading journal is very cute too. It is priced at $7.99 with an estimated 190 sales per month. So this single low content journal right here is making over $1,500 
$1,500 a month and they didn't write anything for this. This has really simple insides and it's something that we can totally do. Now over here, there's also some keywords. So this is going to come in handy when you're actually creating the listing for our design, but this can give us a good idea of some other words and phrases we should use if we are creating a reading journal. So things like reading book, reading log, reading tracker, book review journal. So all of those are going to be good ideas for us to include. But now let's actually go over to the fun part, which is going to be creating our cover and our insides. Super simple, but let's head there now. So over here on the left hand side, there is both the research tab or we can go over here to the create side. There are a couple options here. So there is the book bolt studio, which if you go over to this, you could actually make a cover 100% from scratch right in here. They have a ton of pictures and text and elements for you to play with to create a cover from scratch in here. But what I really love is going to be the mass cover converter because this just allows me to upload a ton of my designs that I already have created and instantly turn them into covers. So let's go over there now. Now for this cover, I am going to be creating a six by nine journal, which is typically what I like to create for. It's a really good size for a journal. And then I typically have 120 pages in them. Now you can always play around with this size. And then right here, we can play around with the background color. So I could make this black, white, or really any color in between. So that is super fun to play around with. I think I am going to make a black background because my artwork was originally optimized for a black t-shirt. Now over here is where you upload images. So you can do multiple, multiple images at a time and convert them all into covers, which is a super useful feature. But right now I'm just going to do one. All right. So I went ahead and I uploaded my shirt design. It's kind of like a groovy reading niche. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to push start. It's going to automatically make all the sizes, the margins. It's going to make the cover size different depending on which size you picked and the page amount, which is super nice because you can easily change the size of your books, but you're not going to have to reconfigure all your templates because it's doing that for you. Now, once it is done, all you're going to do is download this PDF here. So right now I can see my cover has been created. So this will be kind of the seam where it's folded here. And then this is going to be the front. Now I'm just going to download that. All right, now that we have our cover downloaded, I am going to go back over to the Book Bolt Studio and we are going to start creating. All right, so when you go over to the studio, it's going to prompt you to fill out some information about what your book actually is going to be. So I am going to call this like groovy reading journal. And then the trim size is going to be six by nine. And then I'm going to have it be black and white interior. We don't really need it to be colored pages. And this makes it a lot cheaper for Amazon to actually manufacture and produce. So that means we can make a lot more profit per sale. And then I am going to have it have bleeds, which just means it's going to go all the way to the edges of the page. It's not going to have like a white border or anything. And then the page count, I am going to change to 120 and we're going to create this project. Now, right here, it's going to give you kind of the guidelines for creating your cover. But if you did use the cover creator, you should be all set with what you need for this. There's a few things that you're going to be editing. So we're going to add in our cover right here. And then all of these pages, we can customize however we would like. All right. So to actually upload my cover, I am going to go over here and I'm simply going to push this image icon right there and it's going to prompt me to upload the cover I just created. So I'm just going to push upload PDF and then choose the PDF file. All right, so I just uploaded the cover we just created and I'm gonna push submit here and then click on that to add the cover. Now this gives us a little preview of what our cover is going to look like. Now all we have to do is resize this image to make sure it takes up the entire print area. Now we can preview this to make sure everything looks good. And once we're happy with it, we are all set with that cover. Now it's time to start thinking about those inside pages. And this is the really, really fun part. So we're going to go over here to page one, and then we're going to click this icon that looks kind of like a maze here. Book Bolt has so many pre-made pages. Now this is something that you could, in theory, you could just make all of these on your own if you have a different design suite, but it's really nice that they have all of them already made for you so you don't have to spend the literal hours it would take you to make all of these 
templates for the insides. So they have a lot of just lined pages, grid pages, but they also have some really fun ones here too. So even this can give you some good ideas of the types of books you can create. So they have like game books that you could make. They have all sorts of mazes and word searches, and they have tons of different kinds of trackers. So like they have career plan here, they have online shopping trackers, to-do lists, chore list, roommate agreements, and really everything in between. Now, the thing that I think that I saw that I really want to include here is going to be this reading list. Now, it has the place where you can put the title, author, genre, the date that you read it, as well as your rating. So that is a perfect thing to add as part of the inside pages of this reading log that we are creating. So I am actually going to click that, and then I get to choose which pages I actually want this to be on. So you can select all the even pages, you could select all the odd pages, you could select every single page and if you just didn't want to do the cover you could do that. But I think I'm actually going to do the first half of these pages and then the second half I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. So let's just push next here and then I just leave all of these settings in default and I push submit and then we can see it perfectly adds all of these pages to our book right here filling all of them in. Now you actually could just make every single page something different and unique if you wanted to, which is super cool. But now I'm going to go and look for the pages that I'm going to add for the second half of this journal. So let's go back over here to that maze icon. And I think in this one, I just want something that's going to be like notes. So if someone was reading books, they have their rating there, but they also could kind of leave a little review or their thoughts on the book or take notes as they're reading. So some kind of note page. I could definitely just go with something like a blank page, but I think I want something a little bit more fun, just with a little bit more interest. So let's see here. But really they have so many cool pages, like look at this fitness calendar or a finals planning tracker. You can make a bunch of journals for college students, meal planners. Honestly, I need to make myself some of these books and keep track of some more things in my life. All right, so this note page is pretty cute. It is colored and I'm looking for more black and whites, which I could have it printed in black and white, but I think I'm gonna look for something that is more optimized for that. And I mean, they even have some other amazing niches for journals, like prayer journals sell super well. So you could create a bunch of different covers for prayer journals. And that's another amazing thing about this is you could make 10, 20, 30 different cover designs, but they all could have the same inside. So if you wanted to create a bunch of reading logs with tons of different reading covers, you could totally do that. And you wouldn't have to worry about changing the inside. All right, so I think I really like this just a note page so I'm going to add that to the second half so let's make sure that's all selected to those blank pages and then we're just gonna push next and just keep those default settings all right and then we can scroll down make sure everything is added here all right so we can see those note pages down there and now when we are done with this all we're going to do before uploading is go to download right here and then we're going to download our current project in CMYK. So this is for printing. Roy G. Biv is going to be like if you are doing something on the computer, but CMYK are the colors that are used for printing materials. So that is what we are going to do. Now, sometimes downloading your cover and your pages because it is such a big file can take a few minutes. So you'll just have to be patient during that. All right, so now that that is downloaded, I am over on KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. And this is where we are going to be publishing our books so that they can be sold on Amazon. It's a really cool program and all you're gonna have to do is click join KDP and it's going to just have you fill in your information so you can sign up. And it's really cool, it says here, KDP provides you with free and simple tools to self-publish your book in more than 10 countries in over 45 languages. So super awesome is when you publish your low content book, it's going to a bunch of different worldwide marketplaces and not just the United States. All right, so once you have your account, just log in. I'm going to log into my account. Account. All right, so I am over on my publishing account and all I'm going to do is I'm going to push create right here. And then there are a bunch of different options. You can do Kindle eBooks, paperbacks, hardcovers, and a lot of different options. But what we're going to do is create a paperback. Now, this is where we're going to start filling in all of the details for our actual book. 
Now your book title is really important that you actually put what is on the first page of your cover. So mine says it's a good day to read a book. So I am going to put that as the title. And now the subtitle is where I'm going to put additional information about this being a reading journal, reading log, a tracker, things like that. All right, so I filled the subtitle with some of those keywords that I'm trying to rank for. So I have the title, it's a good day to read a book. And then the subtitle is going to be reading journal habit tracker for readers, book reading log, notebook, cute, groovy, groovy reading log book. Now this is not part of a series and it, it doesn't have an edition number. So we're just going to leave those blank. Now for the author information, you are going to put your own information in there. So I'm going to put Hannah and then my last name. And then of course, this book does not have any contributors. Now for the description, I leave it pretty basic right here. You can definitely put a couple lines of text about what this book is used for. All right, so this description doesn't really have a ton of weight for SEO, but a lot of times I just like to put a couple sentences here. So I put this reading journal is perfect for tracking the books you have read, notes, reviews, and thoughts. The perfect gift for readers who love to take notes and keep track of the books they are reading as a habit. And then I just put the basic information. So 120 pages, it is six by nine, white color paper, cover page, a matte finish cover for elegant and professional look and feel. And then the next section is we are just going to say, I own the copyright and hold necessary publishing rights if you didn't make this. This does not have any adult content in it. Now the reading age is optional and I typically don't fill that out. Now the primary marketplace is going to be amazon.com. Now categories is another section where we're gonna have an opportunity to kind of include some more SEO and rank in a few different areas. So if you ever see like those little badges on Amazon that might say like number one in parenting or number 23 and spiritual books. So those are the categories that this book is ranking for. So you can kind of look through all those and choose the two best ones that you think fit the best or some other people, they say that if you use a little bit of a more uncommon category, you have a better chance of your book actually ranking in there. So that's another strategy that some people use. So the first category that I might choose, and these can be, you can really just play around with these. You can even look up what might be the best category for your book. But if I put it in the self-help category, I might put it under motivational, and then I can add another category. So I might go under literature and fiction, and then I might even classify it as like a workbook or something and then I'm going to save those categories. All right, so this keyword section is probably the most important when it comes to the SEO, and that's where I love to use the tools that BookBolt has to actually get some ideas for the keywords I should try to rank for, because we have kind of this general category of reading journal, but there might be some really valuable other long tail keywords that we could be including. So let's go back over to BookBolt and kind of just explore what we could add here. All right, so there's a couple areas that we can look up the keywords that we might wanna include. The first one is just by searching the keyword reading journal. We can come over here to the keywords or down here to related keywords and just look through those, see if any of them might be good ones to include. So reading journal for adults is a fabulous one to include. Reading log journal reading tracker journal. Those are wonderful. Journal for reading books. So I'm gonna start filling those in and then I'm gonna show you the other area that we could also use. All right, so over on the side, I'm going to go back to research and then we can actually go down here to keywords. And then I might look up something like reading notebook or reading book. And then it's going to show me all of the keywords that are associated with that phrase. So I could also look up like reading journal, reading log, and see if there's some other better long tail keywords that people are actually searching for. So over here, it's going to give you the most frequent keywords with that. So book, reading journal, notebook, that is a good one. And it can also give you some data on the competition as well as like the search volume and what people are actually paying to rank on that keyword. So reading journal notebook, it does have high competition, but it's something that people are willing to pay for because it's so valuable and people are willing, are really looking for it. So right here is the Amazon search volume. Definitely the higher the search volume, the better it's going to be in terms of people looking for it. All right, so this one right here, reading lists notebook, reading list is something that I didn't think about putting. So I'm going to include that too. All right, so I have filled in these keywords with some different options and phrases that I want to rank for because even though I'm calling this a reading journal, some people might want this product but be calling it something like a reading notebook or a reading habit tracker, but they could all be wanting kind of the same thing. So it's good to think about all the different phrases that someone could be calling the same type of product. So now we're going to save and continue. And this is the section where we are going to actually add our covers and our insides. Now we can have it give us a free 
ISBN number. And then this publication date doesn't matter if we just want it to go ahead and get published when we submit it. And then we're gonna make sure that it's the black and white interior, the trim size is correct, and make sure that it has bleeds. And then this is really up to your discretion. I like those matte covers, but you could also do a glossy cover as well. And now we're going to upload the inside pages. So the manuscript is going to be that inside pages that we downloaded, and it should have downloaded in two separate files. All right, so now that our inside pages are uploaded, now we can actually Actually upload that cover that we created. So I'm going to click upload a cover that I already have and just upload that file here. Now sometimes these steps can take a couple minutes to actually get them uploaded because they are such big files. All right so now that that is uploaded we are going to wait until we can actually launch this previewer to make sure we check everything and it looks good. So let's click that. Now they even warn you here this can take a few minutes because they are creating basically a proof for you to look at. But I definitely suggest that you do always look through this because sometimes you realize maybe you downloaded the wrong file and put it with the wrong cover or something so it's always just good to take a look at it and make sure the cover and the insides look correct all right so it's finally loaded our preview we can take a look at the book what it's going to look like so this is going to be the front and back cover and you can see it has that ISBN that it made for us on here and then we'll just make sure that these inside pages look good everything is lined up correctly so we could even go over to something like if we wanted to see maybe 57 it would take us to that page and if everything looks good all we have to do is approve that all right, now here it's going to tell us what the printing cost is going to be per book. Now, thankfully, with something like this, there is no money up front. So anytime someone buys a book, this is the cost to print it, and you are just going to be paid the profit on top of that for whatever you're going to charge. Nothing ever comes out of your pocket, which is super nice. Now, this is the page where we're going to kind of decide the pricing that we want to set this at. So you are going to get 60% of the profit on every sale, and Amazon's going to get 40% so I think looking at kind of that average price that we saw I'm going to price this at $6.99 that just keeps us kind of in the middle and then it's going to adjust all of these for the different marketplaces too now you can certainly do your own pricing here but a lot of times to keep things quick I just adjust the US price and then and then let those automatically adjust so you can see the printing is going to cost this much and then we are going to get 175 royalty now for books that are selling better you can definitely up the price or if you put a little bit maybe if you find a niche that is very hyper specific there's not a ton of competition you could even raise the price to something more like 9.99 and so then that royalty is going to be adjusted to 355 so you can play around with your pricing look kind of at the marketplace see what other people are listing their items at and kind of be in that middle range now all we have to do is push publish our paperback book and it is ready to go all right so once it's submitted you will get this here and it has all the information that you submitted and it says we're going to review our book to make your book to make sure it meets our guidelines and it can take up to 72 hours so sometimes it's as quick as the next day you will hear that your book has been submitted but sometimes it can take kind of that three day period for them to actually look through your book and make sure that it meets all of the standards but basically if you are not putting any like adult material in there and the pages are not like wonky or you're really misrepresenting what is in the book typically it's going to get approved and pushed onto the platform so now you see how easy it actually is to publish books on the KDP program. Now, BookBall, it is a paid tool. It's not free. They do have a free trial, but I will show you the different pricing plans that they have. So they have both kind of like a newbie plan as well as a pro plan with some different pricing. Now, the newbie plan is going to be perfect to just get you started. It does have some limitations to all of the different book insides that you can use. But if you really just want to get a feel for things, this is a great option. The pro account is going to have definitely a lot more features and just book insides that you can choose from this is the account that I was using here today and if you do choose to play, pay yearly you can actually get a discounted price and BookBolt has been kind enough to actually give me a promo code for you guys so I will link that down below and if you use that you are going to get the sale price for the lifetime of your account so make sure you do use that discount code down below and it really helps to support my channel as well. I really love KDP especially if you've been trying to get in the Merch by Amazon program for a long time and you keep getting denied through the application process. This is a fabulous next step to take because one you don't have to wait to get accepted and there's no limitation to 
you how many products you can actually upload. The sky is really the limit. If you want to make 10, 20 books a day, you can totally do that. You're not stuck in a certain tier. So there is tons of income making possibilities with this. Now, if you want even more digital product and passive income ideas, watch this video next where I walk you through a few of my top choices. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.